dream, the dream I had last night was, was so terrible. Very terrible that when I woke up, I couldn't even eat, not do anything in the house. Lokwa. Mama, tell us the dream. Maybe we can interpret it. In my dream, I saw our sisters in the bushes they were walking. Suddenly a python, a very big python came out and started chasing them. They were running, but none of them had strength. Immediately the python used its tail to hit Princess Chugo. Hey! Chumo she fell down before others could come for help. Princess Chugo has been swallowed. Hey, who is the corner? What's a deadly dream? Thank the gods. Mm. This type of dream. This type of dream just not come like that. Something must be wrong somewhere. My sisters. Some realities are shown through dreams. Princess Chugo is a nice person. We went to her. She gave us audience and also acted on it. The ghost will never allow anything to happen to her. And all of our sisters who embarked on that journey. I'm afraid. I'm afraid because my dreams are always something I cannot get off my head. Because they surely come to pass. Speak it out, Mama. Hey, don't say that again, okay? Nothing will happen today. Do you know what will happen? Once you get home, pick an egg, take it to a road junction, and fling it round your head seven good times. Uh -huh. And as you do, eh, you keep saying, Nothing will happen to our sisters. Our sisters must not be harmed. Then at the seven count, you break it. As you do, leave and don't look at it. And the dreams will vanish with its power. Where should I do it? Uh, I think it will be preferable you do it at night. Okay. I'll do that once I get home. Uduga di wane biya. Uduga di wane biya. Gadi wande biya, umunde gina podo biya. My princess, why are you smiling? Finally, we are here. This is Igirigi Forest. I am sure none of us have been here before. So, how did you know that you are in the forest? Shh. Listen. Yes. My father said it. He said that the spirits blow flutes in Igrigi Forest. And once we hear the sound, then we should be certain that we are the exact place. I'm happy. We are the right place. My father said so. But he also warned us not to spend much time in this forest. So why didn't Agadinwai tell us all this? Why? She mustn't tell you everything. She said Ikuku would do the rest. Remember, she did not describe the exact place our sister's body was buried. But Ikuku mentioned it to us. I'm happy. So what do we do? Are we going to start digging the entire Grigri forest? I'm not a problem. This is it. Now, we have toyed all these days. Slept in this bush. And finally, we have gotten to the almighty Igirigi forest. 
The question is, how do we locate the grave? Because I, I see us going on with nothing. That will never happen. My happiness is that you are here now. Yes, we have toiled, but we found a place in good health. So all we have to do now is to calm down and search for the grave. Remember, we were told that the grave has stones around it. We have to search for it. All we have to do now is to split ourselves and search for it. There is no time. We have to do all we have to do. I found it! Everybody come! This is the place! This is it! I found it! Oh! No doubt! This is the grave! Exactly! Look at the stones! Let's dig! Give me the hole! The hole! Ikuga, I think something is wrong about our women and their journey to Igriki Forest. Of course. Yes. It's almost three market days. Three market days. Igwe has not said anything. Even the elders. I think something is wrong. They are not safe. Have you forgotten that? Igwe's only child is there with them. Mm -hmm. Even uh, Ichi Udo's daughter, Adama, she's also there with them. Even your niece, Ebube, Dabati, which one? Mm -hmm. Better stop that. She's equally there with them. Yes, so if they like, let them call for a meeting. If they don't, let them sleep. Fala Jela Lobola. But you know, as a woman, you know. If I may ask, Ibuka, what type of meeting are you talking about? See. I was expecting Igwe and the cabinet members to call the villagers for a meeting. At least, at least from there, they should select some able-bodied men that will go in search of our sisters. Yes, since we have not seen them, I think we should come together. Let's gather together and look for a solution. My point is that who knows if they are safe? Now you're talking, you're right. But if there's any problem so far, I believe the eyes of the ghost or Agadi wine must have raised an alarm. Because they see. Because you and I know that they see. Think about it, Ikuka. You are right. You are right. But uh, just that. I'm worried. Mm. You know they are women. Why they are women? They are women. Consider your sister. Our You know what should be passing through inside the forest? I don't. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Let us talk about what is our problem now. Forget about it, please. Uh, meanwhile, Ikuku said it's a small grave dotted with stones we have searched other places no other place except here yet we can't find anything the worst thing that will happen to us is for this to be a fruitless journey and for our people to still remain in this curse what do we do now since we have searched the grave and we couldn't find anything. So what do we do? No matter how many years the dead has been in the grave, the bones shall still be there. Why did we come here in the first place when we couldn't find anything? Why? 
Why? I have a suggestion. What is it? I suggest we pack sand from this grave site and go home. Remember that we are one not to spend a lot of time with this forest. And we are taking time already. Let's pack sand from here and go home. After all, it was a small girl that was buried. I believe by now bones and splash must have turned to sand. So let's pack it and go home instead of wasting time here. Nice thought, Adana. Nice thought. Let's do that and leave quickly. But I got one said. A skeleton. Or a bone. I got the one said what? Get it, I got the one said. So since we do not say a skeleton or a bone, we should remain here. Hey, Teban! Is that why you're shouting? Why are you shouting? Okay, Mechon, because. Why are you shouting? It's enough already. We don't have time for this. We have to hurry and leave this place. It seems the spirits heard our voices and the flute suddenly stopped. It's high time we left. Please, Ada, please, pack as many sound as you can. Let's leave this place before we are being harmed. My common I can't make it. I am tired. Please, don't say this. I understand that you should be tired. In fact, we all are tired. We have toyed in this bush. We have gone to Igirigi Forest. And now it's time for us to go home. You want to give up on us? Please. Hold on to your strength. Let's go. Please. No. no. I am tired. Hey. Princess Chuko. Ada. Oh God. Hello. This is not Chief. Please. My sisters. I am very happy that we all did this. To save our sisters. And our unborn babies. I am equally happy that we brought our minds to do this. They sacrificed their lives. What are we going to tell the people at home about our fallen sisters? I'm going to tell I can't make it. I don't know. Don't say it. Tell, 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 tell my, tell, tell my father. My mother and a kid in my one name that I could not make it. No. Never! I can make it! Never! I can make it! Your father, mother, sister! And your husband must celebrate you not here! 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 Such dreams should not be taken very serious. For the fact that you saw your sister dead doesn't mean that she's dead. I hope you didn't tell your mother this. But no. My mother would just collapse. It is just a dream and not a reality. I expect more dreams. But don't take it so serious. I have been dreaming too. But I don't take it very serious. 
All we need to do right now is to pray to the gods for their protection. I am sure they will be on their way back now. Gods of our land, please protect Ebu Bey. Tadima, Nkem, Wango, Efes Nachi, Princess Chugo, and another man one name. Bring them back to Amuda safely. He say, I'm just scared. Don't worry, they'll be fine. All we need to do is to pray to the gods. I was on my way to your house. I hope all is well. All is well. I just want to come and discuss the issue of this uh, that uh, we don't get this uh, of protein. We all have been silent about it. Hmm. That is true. And we must do something fast before these girls will come back. Yes. Uh, Igwe to that is supposed to be the advocate of this thing. He's silent also. What is going on? Uh, let us go to my house. Okay. This is very important. All right. I was thinking is when they come back that will commence the Obanje ritual. I, I did not forget it. So what do we do? We can't just keep being quiet because it is our responsibility. This girl in question died out of negligence. We have done this very tradition to all our female children and now the gods have instructed that we shall do for Dugadi. And we are here being less concerned. Oh no, Dugo. Mind how you run your mouth in this palace. Who is keeping quiet or, or being less concerned? Didn't you hear what the, the king said? I am very angry that things are turning this way in this village. I am so sad that our women are out there in the thick forest where every dangerous animal dwell. Fine. I don't have mine there. But I am a father. So what do we do? You shall contribute to two cows each. Uh, so that we'll buy a she goat, present it to Agadimwang, then beg her to begin the ritual. Your Majesty, uh, are you sure that uh, she will agree to come and do that? Uh, otherwise, I suggest we call Ikuku. Let him come and uh, perform the ritual. Instead, no. The ritual of Obanje is solely the responsibility of a priestess. Ikuku has no business with it. I shall personally send for her. Uh, <laughs> are you going to borrow me some cowries? No, the point is that we will find a way out. But can you lend me this one cowry? We can discuss that here. Thank you. Iche Head, hmm? did you notice that the Igwe was not happy all through this meeting? Hmm, it, it's obvious that he was reminiscing over the trouble in our community, already staring us on our faces. Eh? Come to think of it, since his daughter was sent on this journey, how many times has he summoned us for a meeting in this palace? Imagine an Igwe claiming that 
he forgot this udoga this uh, uh, abanje tradition <laughs> imagine an igwe uh, hey when a father loses a son or a daughter it becomes so painful okay. i am not saying that uh, our igwe <laughs> or myself who also has a, a daughter in the search is not worried but what i'm saying is that uh, we should give our Igwe some time to provide a solution to the trouble already in this community. Uh, see, see, uh, we must be fast on this uh, Udoga, this tradition of a thing. We must be fast. The Igwe said that he will send for Ikuku. Mm. But how soon will that be? Amen, Gwangwa. Amen, Alodachi. I will suggest that we rush to Ikuku mm. and tell him that the Igwe requests to see him. Eh? Mm. We need to remove uh, 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 this hole in our stomach. Hey. Ha. You, eh. you are right. Let us go at once. Okay. Hey. Ah, ah. I wasn't thinking towards this direction. No, no that, well, that so, is it. When we get there, we will tell him it. that Igwe requests eh. to see him. Majesty, His Majesty, I'm losing it. How long am I going to wait for my daughter? I don't even know if she's dead or alive. Nobody is telling me anything. Ikuku has refused to say something about this. Did you go to our shrine for this? Yes. Yes, I did. Is it a taboo for Her Majesty? to see the eye of the gods, especially when it concerns her family. It is not in your position to make such a move. You must learn to be calm and patient. I have told you repeatedly that other children with her there are children of other women like you. Stop disturbing me. Uh, let me repeat it again. There must be sacrifice. And if Chugo, our daughter, happens to be the one that will put her life in the line, so be it. Oh. Okay, Sikwe. She can put in her life because you do not care. Because she's a woman. That is why a king like you will not stop her from that journey. I know I'm unable to give you a son. That is the only offense. I committed. You keep saying this and you are still under my roof. Chugo is grown, married. You still have all this in, in your mind, in your subconsciousness. If I need a son, I know how to get it. But as for Chugo, we must keep our fingers CM um, Ego, you don't get this. Eh? You don't get this. He, he, he keeps disturbing me. I am tired of his stubborn sisu. Eh? Just say yes to him and all will be fine. I should say yes to a drunk. Who is supposed to be my husband? How can? Ha, huh, Okunde. Wait, oh. Am I that ugly that even you, my own brother, will be telling me this? Yeah, you get it wrong. He only gets drunk on occasions. And market days, and that's all. Oh, and you didn't see anything bad in that? Nothing is wrong. You did not see anything bad in that? Nothing is bad. Okundu, go and tell that Onyeka, or whatever his name is, that I, Ogodima, is not interested. See, apart from the fact that he drinks, I am not ready to look at any man's face mm. until we solve the issue of Dogadi, which our sisters are here to return. In as much as we're waiting for them here, 
you have to say yes to me so that as soon as our sisters are back, eh, you will come with his family Chai. and ask for your hand in marriage. Hey, <laughs> God. I wonder why most of you, our brothers, are self centered. All you do is to push me to go marry one idiot mm. so that you will come and eat, drink, and you move to the next person. Life is not like that. Though. Life is not like that. Okundu, it's high time you go and talk to that Onyeka. Advise him. Tell him the bad effect of being a drunk and stop pushing me for marriage. I have every right to make my choice. And like I said earlier, none of us is ready to lose any child in marriage. So, we all have to calm down until we finish the Udoga this final commitment. In fact, I'm excused to be. A good. A good. Okay. What are you doing? Ah. So you now you now cook. Fresh water and wash your clothes. Ah! So you are now a bachelor. When will this end? This is not supposed to be a problem. I can do it. Listen, it will end when my wife comes back. Whoever that is giving you that hope, that's anybody that is telling you that if your wife will come back, that person is a fool. Anyway, I was here yesterday and I couldn't find you. Yes, I went to Amoda to see my in-laws. My wife's grandmother is sick, so I went to give them some money. Yes. You did what? You went to Amoda. But your grandma, whatever, is sick, you went to give them money. My wife's grandmother is sick, so I want to assist them with some money. Is that, is that bad? She's my wife's grandmother, so I want to assist them with some money. Why don't you give that money so that we can use the money and, and look, look, for, look for a new wife? So you are, st you are still hoping that Edbo will come back? No, okay. You will. You will. You will. Fine. It's your money. Dan, did you hear any good news as regards to your baby? That is none of your business. You can go and get a new wife like you've always advised. Yet all the women are rejecting you. All of them. Noka. Noka. Marry as if you've gotten a new wife. Noka. Is it because of that, that, that little girl that's not matured? You know that girl is not matured? Uh, she said that I have expired. You can imagine me, Ndoka, expired. When I'm still very strong and can do so many things that are uh, kajad. Huh? Don't mind it, don't mind the little girl. No, no, you can You see, I'm, I want to prepare something I'll eat. Let me fix myself. You have my time. And I'm telling you something. You are still telling me that you want to pass on to you. What do you mean? I've been doing these things, I've been cooking for myself and doing a lot of things for myself before I married her. So why can't I do it now? Before you married who? Before I married my wife. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Who is your wife? Who is your wife? That's our mother, eh? Your wife. Okay, continue. Ripa. Ripa. My wife, our mother. Mdukas' wife, our mother. The other time was Pipopo. Today is a bagari. Hear my name. Adama! You go! Can you hear the names? A human voice. The voices are strange. 
Could it be humans or spirits? We are almost home. And voices are heard. We better keep moving. Those voices do not sound like humans. Listen very carefully. It sounds like a human voice. A human voice? Who could be calling us in this thick forest? Please, if you're not leaving, I'm going to leave you behind. I'm tired. Oh God. Ebube, Shugo. Ebube. Ebube. Is that you? Always me. Eh? Come on, call up. Hold on, hold on, please. Ebube. Don't wait, they might be spiritus. Okay. Don't waste this. It's me. Ebube. I'm glad you're still alive. Yes. May the gods be praised. What happened? It's a long story. But we have the head of Udo God. It's a lie. It's a lie. Okay. Show them. We have the head. <laughs> May the gods be praised! Yes. May the gods of our ancestors be praised! What happened? We got to the grave. We digged and digged and digged. Yet, we couldn't find anything. How were we able to get this? And we packed the sand instead of going empty handed. Same with me. The little girls. The little girls we met. The little girls we followed. They were spirits. But the smaller one, she was. She was actually Udogadi. I don't want all of you to suffer because of me anymore. I regretted laying a curse on my own flesh and blood. Though the way I was neglected and killed brought great pain to me. All the female babies that have died because of this cause shall be returned. I'm Udo Gadi, your sister. Forgive us. Forgive our brothers. Forgive our fathers. Please forgive Amoda. Please. We don't want to suffer anymore. Please, set us free. I know that a day like this will come. I know. A day of sorrow because of carelessness of men. Your journey ends here. Your sisters will go to Igrigi Forest in vain. They will see my grave but won't see anything in it. My skull. Take it to Amoda. Let them bury it and make a burial of my father and mother. They are already done with my Obanje tradition. Bury this in my father's compound and tell the king to share my father's vast land. To all of you who brought out yourself for this journey, all of you will get home in peace. Among the seven of you, I will reincarnate in one of your home. Tell these birds, tell them not to go to Amoda without some the gods from my grave. All of you will get home in peace. Go! Go! Yeah. 
don't want no more. This, this is terrible. Ah, may the gods be praised. They have been so kind to us. Ah, let's go. Now you know what to do with this. Hey. I know. I know. Hey. I know. Hey. We are free! Yeah! We are free! Yeah! Ikuku could send a message that whoever is having a hand in any of Udogade's father's properties should henceforth desist. Even the seeds on the land must be uprooted. Igwe, we should know when to believe in some messages from the gods. Eh? So we don't obey human messages thinking it's from the gods. How can we start uprooting our crops just like that? Or are we dragging land with anyone? Igwe, I am one of the people that are farming on that land. You see, we all know that the land is not ours. It's because there was nobody that was using the land. That's why we decided to farm on it. And you couldn't notice the only seed when she was alive. But you know how to use her late father's land? Udo, are you referring to me? Even if I refer to you, will you kill me? Will you eat me up? The eye of the gods has delivered a strong message from the gods. You will do the needful. Whoever is having a hand in any of those lands should please desist. I have spoken. Igwe. Why the sudden remembrance of this land? If I may ask, does it mean that Igwe want to take the land or what? Same thing that I'm still thinking about. Why didn't Ikuku make the pronouncement before us? What is the business of the gods with the land? Do they walk or farm? Another thing is that our king is a very good man. I don't think he will have such a problem. But how do I put my yam? My kuku yam? My cassava? Huh? What type of thing is this? I can only complain if that's the only place I farm. Thank the girls I farm other places. Our fathers collectively use the farm. Let's obey the girls. Let us obey them. Your Majesty, I greet you. Udo. No. I salute you. No. Your Majesty, the gods asked me to inform you that you should tell your subjects, our people, the people of Amuda, that their daughters are on their way back. This message should be passed across the entire village of Amuda. Let this message go across their homes let their husbands, their friends, and their family come out once their leg touch this land. There should be a thunderous noise because it is a fruitful journey. Igwe, your daughter's husband must not be seen around her because the gods 
are angry with him. He neglected royalty. Almost home. We have done our best for the village and for our future. We all went with our lives. At least, if not for anything, we should learn that being our sister's keeper should be the greatest task. Our father's heir, and we paid for it with our lives. Be courageous, my sisters. Please, we should keep moving. Chugo. If it's in a chin. Wogo. Ebube. Nkem. Adama. Bikono. We should keep moving, please. I need Jerry. Oh, my
Ama fufuelo. Yeah. Ama fumuelo. Yeah. Rieno. Yeah. Juano. Yeah. Oh, I did it on the mall. It is not easy. It is not easy. As you can see, our hearts are filled with joy. We can cease thanking the gods for all they have done for us. You see, our daughters who went for the journey of unknown, they are back home, self, hell, and the hearty. <laughs> None of them was declared missing. Yeah. Okay. You can see we have every reason to be happy. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks to us. <laughs> They traveled seven mountains, mm. seven rivers, mm. and brought home the remains of our dear daughter, Udogadi, mm. whose remains is now resting at Uwagadiwai. Mm. <laughs> it calls for celebration. Yeah. It calls for celebration. Yeah. It calls for celebration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you have traveled to far away Odi. Get us the best of the Apan wine. We will serve our guest. Next Ekema Kedde is the day for celebration. <laughs> Igwe, I know what to do. Ichi <laughs> Ivedima. Igwe Gadipa. Go round the entire neighboring communities. Inform their kings. To assemble their people, they are invited. <laughs> that is done already. It is done. It is done. It's a waffle. We want all our masquerades to perform. Ijene must perform. Mbadike must perform. Agaba must perform. Ezaga must perform. All the great masquerade. Itachi, they must perform. Hey, hey. consider it done. Hey. That is my idea of specialty. I will bring all of them down here. Ichi or not do It's not supposed to be assigned anything. Ichi, yeah. uh, 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 calm down. <laughs> we are in a celebrative mood. Ichi or not do Assemble all our women. They must cook for us special delicacies known to our people. He is not supposed to be assigned to any duty. Yeah, yeah. His daughter was yeah, yeah, started started again. After all. Am I the one to tell the judge not to take my daughter? He is not supposed to be part of the journey. He is not supposed to be part of the journey. He is not supposed to be part of the journey. He is not supposed to be part of the journey. He is not supposed to be part of the journey. Am I the one? Am I the one? Why are you from the church of the Lord? Sit down. Okay, no, this daughter was not part of this. Igwe, here, my mom, I will assemble the food. Iba for Kwenu. Yeah. I have spoken. Igwe. Okay. After waiting patiently for our daughters to return, you are just seated like an elephant, eh? waiting to be assigned for for. for then, hear them, ma. Hear them, ma. You will continue waiting patiently. Continue waiting patiently. <laughs>
Take your